All right, we got a fourth gen Dodge Grand Caravan. It is specifically a white 2005. First thing I notice. Where's the rust? Okay, there's a little bit starting on the inside of the lip, but... And a little bit here from being hit, I think. Scraped, dings and dents, but... Where's the, where's the rust? You know, like... Look at that. There's none. Let's walk around the whole vehicle. We gotta breathe this in. It's a pretty base model. Look at this. There's no uh, emblems on the back here. Is that evidence of a repaint? The repaint is a pretty good job. Yeah, there's no rust on this side either. Let's... Oh, okay. Little bit here. Uh, is that skim coat? I can't. I can't tell. That might be. That just might be the primer, though. I don't know. It's pretty clean for up here, as you can see. Somebody's already nabbed a fender. There's a fender. It is a repaint, though, right there. Is that? Is a respray. That's a good respray, though. They must have did all the door jams and stuff, which is why they hit this. Yeah, you can see it peeling right here. So the question is, is that going to be the right white then? Or is it going to look off? A little bit of a repair here on the seam, you can see. A little bit of rust on that seam coming in. Rockers, they're solid, I'll tell you that much. Let's dive in, I guess. Radco mobility equipment. It doesn't look lowered, so I don't know what's going on there. Five of 05, so it's almost a 2006. Uh, this is a really base model with the low trim door panels. It's got power windows though, power locks, power mirrors. It's got cruise, uh, no overhead console. The headliner is a down, glued, if iffy glue job. And you know, it's got pins and tacks and all sorts of goodness. This airbag has been pulled down. It's got a tack cluster in it. Here's that fancy, don't steal me key box sitting there. Uh, we do have a CD radio passenger airbag sensor, dual climate control, AC front and rear AC, Oh, power driver seat, manual passenger seat, fabric's pretty wore down here. Uh, we got a Valvoline sticker that says 178.545. It's got an I voted early sticker in it. Is that a stow and go bench? Is that... This is a good flavor of Mountain Dew, by the way. Purple Thunder, this is really good. I think you can get that out of the machines at uh, Holiday or Circle K. Dewalt screwdriver kit. Is this a stow and go bench? What am I looking at? Somebody tell me that's a stow and go bench. I don't think I've ever seen a stow and go bench. Yo, that's cool. So it must swivel, tilt, and then. I gotta look at the other side. I'm distracted. It totally is. It totally is a stow and go bench, guys. Sorry, it's got stow and go rear like a bench bucket. Splits in two pieces, that's typical. But, yeah, stone goes full of water, but, so this, 
must go here. I'm gonna pull this seat down. And then, yeah, see the big handle there? So you pop these. These are like regular style locks here. I think you go down and then, yep. And then, the, no, it's not stow and go. It can't be. Because that wouldn't fit in there. So it's a removable middle row seat with storage and stow and go rear. Yo, that's kind of weird. It's, it's like a hybrid. Yeah, because there's no way that fits. And then you use this handle, though, to pull it out the rear when you got your rear seats stowed away. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So I guess it's just cargo then. So it's just storage. So stow and go body with a regular middle seat. That's cool. I've never seen that before. I guess that's what you get with the base model in 2005. Oh, molding here. Weather trim is all nice shape. Nothing in the glove box. There's no storage crate in here right now. I, in fact, it's in the back seat. I moved it. What do we got under the hood here? That's not popped. So I must pop it. Oh, the hood latch is broke. Uh-oh. Hang on, let me get a vice grip. This isn't going to go well. All right, down you go. All right, now we... You're almost dead, so let's make this quick. Okay, I gotta make that tighter, obviously. So, now, okay, done, pop. Now the next guy can actually get into the hood. I can't get my vice grip off. That's gonna hurt, this is gonna slap back at me. I'm gonna assume that's a 3.3 three under there. What does it look like from under here? Yeah, it ain't a 3.8, I'll tell you that much. It's definitely a 3.3, three, 41 TE. I don't know what's going under there because I can't get into the hood. I'll see if I can get it open otherwise. Uh, thanks for watching. I really, really, really clean 05 Dodge Grand Caravan that has been repainted. So that's gonna stop me from taking this door. Because I was thinking about it. Remember that one I screwed up on my 05? This one's not screwed up, but the paint's. See, it's got a run in it right here. Yeah, a run in it right here. I'd have to repaint it, in which case I'd have to repaint my other door. Why not I just keep the other door? You know? Anyway, if I can't get that open, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching and looking at this uh, weird base model 05 Grand Caravan that you pull our parts in Rosemount, Minnesota.